bones belonging to a woman, a ring, and a pair of sketchers. These clues were left in a field off Sharon Road and were found in 2009. And that means someone somewhere is wondering what happened to a loved one. Now a family knows. In one of her so many exclusive stories, Local 12's Deb Dixon shows us how those clues led to the mother's identity. Men collecting cans found the bones in a woods off Sharon Road. It was a cold January day in 2009. It took two days to search for remains scattered by animals. There's no purse, there's no wallet, there's nothing there that helps us identify except for a few uh, items such as the tennis shoe and the rings. Perhaps someone would recognize those rings. They were publicized, but no one did. Still, there were those bones for forensic anthropologist Beth Murray to examine. We, you know, collected bone dust so we could create a DNA profile of this individual. Um, Dr. Murray also looked at the bones, gave us an age range, gave us a, a gender that we could go on, that we could build up ultimately in the NamUs database. The coroner's office entered information into NamUs, the database of unidentified dead that included a facial reconstruction on the skull that was found of what the woman might have looked like alive. And this is what they ended up with. And they entered something else, something forensic anthropologist Beth Murray discovered when she examined the bones, that the woman had had a broken ankle. Last year, when an investigator with Ohio's Bureau of Criminal Investigations started looking at missing women cases, she found a missing person report from 2005 filed by a New York family. It included a photograph of 62-year-old Deborah Morgan, who had a broken left ankle. The investigator from BCI saw this artist rendering, compared it to the photograph provided by the family, in the missing person report and was and thought that the two faces looked very similar and she pursued that dna from the bones matched dna from deborah's mother in a nursing home still missing information we don't know how she died or the manner in which um, she died but at least they're not looking for her to come home anymore deborah morgan will now be buried back home in ticonderoga new york Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. NamUs estimates 4,400 unidentified bodies are recovered every year. Approximately 1,000 of those bodies remained unidentified after.